Hey everyone, welcome back and today we're gonna be talking about a recent thing that happened in Valorant First Strike Tournament Europe. Now this is a pretty important topic so please listen carefully. Did you know Guild vs G2 eSport match? Well Guild somehow surprisingly won with everyone counting on G2. But except one thing, Guild actually used some sort of an in-game bug which I will show you right here. Basically, they put, you know, on the kill rate, they put a wall so they get, gain a massive advantage. And while it doesn't seem like much, this is a massive wall that basically, you know, holds off, gives some entries and basically sets back the economy. So if you have a bad economy in the first strike tournament, you, you will basically get a huge train ride where you will be losing rounds and rounds. And this is exactly what happened. G2 actually lost with a huge fight with a score of 13-10. To make some context, let's take a look at the clip. You know what this reminds me of? The old CSGO tournament. Fanatics, all of boost. Patience came coming out, he can spot them coming out of squeak door as well. He's here, he sees them down there, straight headshot, they have no idea. <laughs> Smith's looking confused and dazed and it's gonna be a follow-up headshot on a monster. You gotta be kidding me, he takes down Kirishima as well. Two frags there. Fnatic, that is a way back in, and that's definitely a huge confidence boost now for them, especially when they need it. But look, it's, a, it's actually a double, it's teamwork. It's real teamwork <laughs> that allows for this. It's a if we take a closer look, Valorant actually decided this was not okay. So what happened was actually they took the notice and looked into this, and, well, Guild Esports had to basically forfeit the match. Now, there's been a lot of controversy that this bug has been in the game for a long time. And this doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Valorant has actually done a great job at how it was being developed. And looking at how Guild responded, they issued out a statement. Valorant first strike EU reverse decision. Saturday, 14 November 2020. Guild Esports have been informed today by Riot Games that the win against G2 Esports in the Valorant First Strike Tournament was reversed due to what they felt was exploitation of an in-game bug to seek an advantage. The team is devastated by this decision and we believe we deployed an innovative usable abilities that was permitted. We request that now this tactic has been identified as an unintentional exploit this is communicated to all teams and removed from the game we look forward to the next match with g2 and continuing in Valorant first strike tournament i think well valorant did you know riot itself did act in the best way and intentions i still my honest opinion is i'm a huge fan of guild esports but i don't think they were actually aware uh, that this was actually being a bug and that they could you know have to forfeit the match this is my honest opinion i think guild esports has only positive uh, intentions in valorant like yes sure they want to win against g2 that's actually the strongest team and guild is pretty strong as well because well guild has you seen you know everywhere i have a i have a whole path i know the whole past about them but the, look this swedish team they deserve a second chance at least if they got a rematch um that would be more fair in my honest opinion same map you know same sides everything you know completely the same just another simple chance without any use of exploitation so let's look at how esports talk reacted to this the pep talk said to, you know to keep it real and then g2 artist posted this uh, the clear 13-0 against guild which was it, it's factual but it's an obvious jab at guild esports because of that forfeit making it a technical 13 owing it's just very controversial because you would have liked to think this bug being around according to other teams out there for a lengthy period of time that riot games i think poach put it so so well if you guys don't follow this guy i love seeing people who can have a level head around the situation and certainly understand both sides but also understand that riot games is also partially at fault here for not having a detailed list of bugs or unintended exploits and it it's, it's a weird thing to talk about, right? Because this team found a combination of abilities and, of course, strats and areas of the map to take advantage of 
is that their fault? You know, them thinking that it was known by other teams that they then used it because it was still allowed in the game. I'm not here to debate this too much in detail. I will say this. I don't think there's a clear side to take here. And I still do think Riot Games is partially, you know, should be at hand and at fault for this bug still being in the game. And it just so happens Guild Esports took advantage in a, in a series that, you know, we thought was certainly theirs against G2. It has now been reverted and is so incredibly ironic because it was actually Ocelot earlier this weekend laughing at Guild Esports. Then Guild Esports lost to G2. And now due to a bug, G2 technically has beaten Guild Esports. I will say this, drama or not, this is great for G2 and Guild Esports, in my opinion. And I don't think Guild Esports is necessarily fully at fault here. You guys can have a different opinion. Feel free to share that as well. well I do agree mostly with what Jay Clucky has to say. I can't actually agree that, you know, Riot types out what is and it what is not considered an exploit. You see, Valorant is still a pretty fresh game. And this is their actual first tournament. And surely nothing can be perfect. Now, yes, CSGO actually had the same problem in 2013 as well. And I think in six months from now, such exploits will not be an issue anymore in such big esport games. We still see some big, you know, four man boosts uh, in CSGO as well. But in Valorant, you know, stuff like this happens you know you can't see what is and what is not an exploit and even then they take a look at every in-game exploit there is for every tournament right now and simply i think you know this match was still pretty close looking at it yeah sure guild esports might have lost but this was still a pretty close game even though there was this you know super big boost it's only a matter of time when we see this happening and now it doesn't look that bad for guild sport guild esports nonetheless nevertheless guild esports is not entirely out of options in the coming week guild's roster will participate in two separate first strike qualifier events they kind of lost the first one now they had to forfeit the second one and despite the controversy around the boost Guild Esports' performance in Aston demonstrated their worth in the European Valorant scene. They're still probably going to be coming into Valorant for a strike with another two tries. So it's definitely nice that they haven't banned them from the competition altogether, but they just lost the map. In the future, we'll have, you know, we'll have more noteworthy of what is actually an exploit, exploit and what is actually not an exploit. But let me know your opinions down in the comments below. And this is Fatman, sign out. Peace, guys. Also, be sure to check out my other videos.